Hello my fellow family foodie friends, it's Jackie and welcome back. I'm sharing with you guys four crockpot recipes. These will either be a main dish to a meal or the entire meal itself. And I'm just like you, if the weather gets cooler, I love to have a hot, warm dinner ready at the end of the day, especially as I'm doing virtual school. It's really nice to put something in the crock pot and not think about it as I do my teacher duties. If you're new around here, I share all the things that I love to eat. I am someone that really enjoys having yummy food around the house, making food for my family. And if that is something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe. I'm also sharing my intermittent fasting journey. I don't change what I eat, I just change when I'm eating and I'm seeing a lot of health benefits for me personally and I felt it was something that was too good to not share with the world. But now let's get to the food. Okay, so step one, I'm gonna be cutting my baby bite-sized potatoes. These are bite-sized considered, but I want them smaller for a soup, of course. I'm gonna chop my celery. I'm gonna peel and chop my carrots. I'm gonna mince my garlic and then dice the onion. And so you could ignore this step, but it really does help um, bring out the flavors of the carrot and the onion, kind of soften them. So I'm gonna saute my onion and carrots in this butter. And in my opinion, this step is worth completing before putting in the crock pot. I do this when I make my broccoli cheese soup. Just totally worth it. And in my opinion, butter, carrots, and onion is one of the most wonderful smells ever. So here's how I'm making the crock pot version of this chicken pot pie soup. I have my sauteed onion, carrot, and butter, my can of coconut milk, my bag, this is just leftover rotisserie chicken, and I'm not even measuring it, it's just what I'm using. So I'm having cooked chicken, that is not what the recipe recommends, but that's what I'm doing. I have my minced garlic, I have salt and pepper, and then instead of using fresh herbs as they suggested, I'm using dried because that's what I have on hand. So that is the substitute I made, but it's the same, same spices that they recommended. So I have in here thyme, sage, parsley, and rosemary, and then bay leaves. I have my chopped red potatoes and celery, and then this is homemade chicken broth. I have three cups. I'm gonna put this all in the crock pot for, on low for at least six hours. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this and have it on low for six hours and then at the last half an hour, I'll show you how we're gonna add in the coconut milk and the spinach. Okay, so now I'm adding in the coconut milk and spinach pretty close to dinner time. And instead of measuring the spinach, I'm just taking handfuls. For having no dairy creamer, this soup was super creamy. I loved using the coconut milk and I'll definitely do this again. It is very filling and because it's chicken pot pie, I served it with a biscuit. Guys, this is one of my absolute favorite foods to make. It has made an appearance in different videos before, but it deserves more screen time, so it's going in a crock pot video. These meatballs are gonna be covered with the entire jar of chili sauce, the entire can of cranberry sauce, the drained can of sauerkraut and three quarters cup of brown sugar. You literally just put it all in here on high for four to five hours. Give it a tremendous stir at the end and they're delicious meatballs. This is the epitome of dump and go. I usually like to make foods that have a little more involved just for depth of flavor, but this is just too good. here and I probably just because I am home all day you don't have to but I'll probably come give this a little bit of a stir midway through. I'm putting this baby on for a high for five hours and I'll be stirring it a couple hours in. 
Okay, I'm two hours in. I'm gonna give these a stir. If you try one of these crack pot meals, I really encourage you to try this one. It is so good. It's the perfect like potluck holiday edition and it's a crowd favorite. This batch that I'm making right now is going to a family dinner and it was requested by my mother-in-law because again, fan favorite. So the star ingredients in today's lentil sloppy joes, of course a pound of lentils. I am using an entire 10 ounce bag of the seasoning blend. So it has onion, celery, red peppers, green peppers, and parsley flakes. I am gonna add two cans of this. I just have one out right now because uh, my hands are full. I have a half a cup of ketchup. I am choosing to use spicy ketchup. You can use just regular ketchup, but we like this stuff and we like a little heat. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and if you are looking to make this truly vegan, you're gonna need to make sure that it's a vegan Worcestershire sauce. Um, I have two tablespoons of whole grain mustard, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a tablespoon of chili powder and a half tablespoon of paprika and I'm also making four cups of vegetable broth with the better than bouillon blend so I'm gonna make four cups. We'll get to assembling the sauce and putting it in the crock pot. I know this is very liquidy but the lentils need a lot of liquid to cook in. And that's why we're getting this started in the morning so it can cook all day. Lentils are something you always wanna make sure you clean and just kinda of sort through before you use. They can have a little bit of debris in them from time to time. So it's just good to look through them before you use them. Okay, so now we are ready to assemble in our crock pot. First thing I'm gonna layer down is my peppers and onion. My and I'm gonna just give this a little quick drizzle of olive oil. Scoot those around, make a nice little bed for my lentils to lay on. Lentils right on top here. Go sauce here. And I'm just pouring it everywhere. And it's very liquidy, but that's necessary. You can cook this on low for eight hours or high for four. I'm going for the high today. I'm gonna give my lentils a good stir. Lentils are a little al dente, so more time in here will be good. And here they are. This smells just like regular sloppy joes in here. These really thickened up. I did them for two hours on high and four hours on low. I am home all day. If you're gone all day, I would just do eight hours on low. And if you don't make it sloppy, it doesn't count. So you actually have to make it sloppy. Next, there's no choice, cheddar cheese for myself. Then, lots of onions. And either plain, plain yellow mustard or spicy. I bought this at Aldi. Um, I love the spicy mustard, so just regular mustard is good. And if you guys don't know, I have a vegetarian daughter so I love trying new vegetarian stuff. I love making meat meals vegetarian, and this is one of those. So in this final recipe, I'm going to saute four carrots, an onion, and two tablespoons of butter, just like I did in the chicken pot pie recipe. And you can do this on a stove top and put it in an actual crock pot, but I started on saute in my instant pot and then used the slow cook method. Then I added 32 ounces of frozen broccoli, a pound of Velveeta, a can of cream of celery soup, a can of water, a cup of cheddar, two cups of milk, and then I let it sit on low for four hours. I'm adding pepper at the very end. I just kind of keep checking the broth, salt and pepper, season it until it's great, and it's the easiest dinner ever. We all love it. Okay, you guys, show everyone how you like to eat this bread and soup or any bread with the soup. Mm. Mm. You guys like this dinner, don't you? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is a full family win. 
I hope you enjoyed these crackpot recipes. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.